This amorphous background that you see here would be representing what is called the cytosol. And the cytosol is basically a very viscous gel-like substance, which at this magnification is just filling up the contents of the cytoplasm. This distinct structures that you see here, these red granules, are meant to represent ribosomes. And these would represent free ribosomes. The ribosomes are the location where protein is synthesized inside the cell. Find them here, not attached to any other organelle. You can see that these red granules are also present on the membrane of these organelles. These would be referred to as fixed ribosomes. You normally will see the centrioles as a pair near the center of the cell. If we zoom in on the, the centrioles, here's one here, and here's one here, and these are cylindrical structures, and you can see that each of these cylindrical centrioles is oriented at a right angle to the other, and that is typical, that they're oriented in this fashion. These centrioles are made up of microtubules and the centrioles is also the location which organizes and produces the microtubules of the cell. So, so the centrioles uh, are sometimes referred to together or sometimes referred to as the microtubular organizing center. Now the last thing we'll talk about are occlusions, which are concentrations of material that can be found within the cell, like for example, fat or a pigment like melanin, which are not bounded by a cell membrane. These inclusions are shown here and here and here and here. These represent fat vacuoles. If we zoom in on one of these, you can see they're just very dark spherical structures. Fairly nondescript in appearance, nothing really distinctive about them. And notice also that they are larger than the lysosomes, so you can see a, a fat vacuole represent over here, right next to a lysosome right over here. So this again would be a fat vacuole, not to be confused with the peroxisome, which is not actually represented in this model at all.